Find the solution of the equation x squared plus 6 times x plus 10 equals 0. Well, it's certainly above the x-axis, we are adding 10. Oh, but with the domain C, which is the set of complex numbers. Okay, so we know that we will have two solutions, no matter what. So I just look at this one, and, uh, well, the easiest way to go is that use the formula. So now my A is... 1, B is 6, and C is 10. So X will be, well, minus B, so that's minus 6 plus and minus the square root of B squared. Well, that's 36 minus 4 times A. A is 1, so, well, I can just leave it like that. Um, 4 times 10. Well, that's um, it's going to be a negative number, that's for sure. And this is divided by 2. So that is, well, 36 minus 14, it's negative 4. So I still have negative 6 plus and minus the square root of negative 4 divided by 2. We know how to deal with the square root of a negative number. That will be i times the square root of that number, positive. So that's plus and minus i times the square root of 4 divided by 2. And that is, well, it's coming out quite nice because this is minus 6 plus and minus 2 times i divided by 2, so I have negative 3 plus and uh, minus i. Okay, so these are the two solutions. And, um, yeah, you can even write what is the solution set. Well, there are two, so I can put the, enumerate them in the curly braces. Okay, so then, well, I need to check. So what is the definition of a solution? Well, that's a number. If I substitute it back into the original equation, I will get a true statement. Okay, so let's do 1 negative 3 plus i squared. So x equals negative 3 plus i plus 6 times negative 3 plus i plus 20. Okay, this is the complicated one, but it's not so complicated. So this is 9, and I have negative 3 times i, so that's twice, so negative 6 times i plus i squared. So this will be um, it's going to be minus 18 minus 6 times i plus 10. Okay, 6 times i. Um, yeah, that's um, that should be positive here. Yeah, that's right. So now I can get rid of them. So now I have 9 minus 1, because i squared is negative 1, minus 18 plus 10, well that's 8 plus 10, that's 18 minus 18, well that's 0, okay, that works out. You also need to check x equals negative 3 minus i, okay, so don't forget to, to do that one as well.